So welcome to another Random Foods for the Month video. Right here, I'm having some tater tots at Sonic with Ashley. I met up with her, and they were really, really good. And then Kevin and I are eating uh, French fries in the car from Culver's. Uh, these are crinkle fries, and they have awesome French fries. And I bought some watermelons from Walmart. We didn't realize they're seeded. Seeded watermelon. Sarah's Homegrown by Frey Farms. They are in, Frey, it doesn't say, it says Product of the USA, FreyFarms.com. So I guess if I wanted to know where that's at, I would have to go look there. Uh, but I'll show you, we hadn't even looked at that. We looked at the size because we like the sweeter ones have been these really long watermelons. So we didn't even look at what it actually said on there. So we didn't look until Kevin just opened this up to cut it up for us. And their seeds all through it. <laughs> yeah. So, so what he's been doing is, if you watched my video last month about the just, I've been calling it like random foods. And so it was like random foods, May 2023. So you'll have seen Kevin, I showed him cutting up one watermelon. Well, what you, I didn't show in that video, I showed him cutting up one, but there were like two others that he cut up as well. But what he'll do is we have this great big fiesta, um, is it Pyrex? Pyrex bowl. And it has a lid. And so he will take the watermelon and he'll usually cut up half of it into big cubes. And we will eat on one bowl for probably, what, two nights? Probably. So, and that's half the watermelon, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So half a watermelon lasts us two nights. So the whole watermelon is gone in four nights. So, um, but we've really been enjoying it. Um, it's been a really nice, sweet treat. Now we have to fight around seeds. Now we have to fight around seeds. Yeah, definitely. Unless you can just pluck them out. I can't pluck them all out. Or unless they fall out as you're cutting them. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe some of them will. I mean, you'll get a few here. And there. Yeah. So we'll just have to to work around seeds. Um, but we've really been enjoying this at night uh, because. Uh, I was eating like Smarties, and we still have a drawer full of Smarties candy, but uh, this is like, this is so sweet that I just love it, and Kevin and I just sit there, and we literally will eat and eat and eat and eat and eat until we're full, and then uh, we'll put it up, put it back in the refrigerator, but that has lasted, um, like I said, we're able to eat on it for two nights, and it's only what's impressive about it is it's only like 45 calories a cup. This is the best part right there. Yes, the dark, <laughs> I love Well, it. that's the center, there's no seeds. Oh yeah, well I love when, when we're like picking our pieces out of the bowl, the darkest pieces I love the most because they're, they seem the sweetest and the strongest. Um, but you can eat a lot of watermelon and it's just like, it doesn't even count. You know, I don't even sure worry does, about it. I'm sure it does, but I don't worry about it at all. It hasn't hurt me yet. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you, we accidentally bought two seated, but now oh, Kroger, Ooh, that's a big hunk without any Kroger did not have any of the big long ones no, at all. Small round ones. Yeah. And, and the small round ones just aren't as sweet. So, I mean, they're still good. There's nothing wrong with them. They're not as juicy. They're not as juicy. Yeah, exactly. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having a I'm Thin and Crispy double sausage pizza from Screaming Sicilian. We reviewed this and loved it so much that we bought more. Um, it is really good, I think, on the calories if you want pizza but you're watching your calories. I eat half of it and Kevin eats half. It is only 570 calories for half. I think that's a good deal. Um, they also have... Um, pepperoni and i think they have a supreme and we've reviewed them mm -hmm. if you just have to type in screaming to see and thin and and it'll come up but i think for 570 calories that is a really good amount the reason i'm showing kevin cutting up the watermelon for you is because someone actually said that they enjoyed it last time i showed it so uh, i thought well we're cutting up a lot of watermelon i'll just show it again you know how people carve pumpkins and they do faces and pumpkins. I wonder if you could carve faces and stuff in, in watermelon. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't think you could hollow it out as well. Because it's wet. Yeah. I mean, you, I have seen. Well, we saw the, remember the dog face yesterday. Mm -hmm. I showed you that video of that dog putting his whole head in one. 
Yeah. That was a carved out. So it is, but it's not like, like those, like I remember on the Roseanne show, they had like, they did the whole, like they did her face. Yeah, because you could do layers. Yeah. I don't know that you can do layers of this because, um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You would not believe it, but it was so satisfying to me at least to, uh, the seeds get in the way. The seeds are a pain. And I tell you what, too, these watermelon with the seeds are like extra, extra juicy. So they have like double the amount of water in them that you get from a regular watermelon which literally will make you go to the bathroom every 15 minutes. You'll have to pee all the time from eating this because it's that juicy. But it's so satisfying picking those seeds out. Uh, if you're the type of person that likes a picky plate, that's for you. Um, used to uh, use the melon baller mm -hmm. and ball these. Yeah, and it was pretty. Hours. Yeah. Think but about it, the melon ball. It was for parties, mostly. Right. And that's why you do it. It's yeah. to make them pretty. That's that's. But the can reason. you imagine sitting there doing that? No. She did that in Honeydew, didn't she? In, in cantaloupe. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally so it looks pretty for a party. Oops. Took that on you. Sorry. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> Ashley and I have come to A&W today, A&W like root beer restaurant, and she ordered, I told her I wanted some onion rings. Well, she didn't know how big the order would be. We could have shared one. We could have shared one. So she just told him to give us a large. So she got an order like that looks like this, and I got an order that looks like this. Yeah, there's definitely enough for two. So just know if you order a large, this is what you're going to get. So they offered us some sauces, and Ashley said, just give us what is the most popular sauce. Well, he threw in two containers of this marinara sauce, which we kind of thought that was like a joke. If you <laughs> try this, it's like pizza sauce. If you try the marinara sauce with that, it's incredible. It's delicious. Like, I wanted to eat, once I tried it, I wanted to eat every single one of these with the marinara sauce. It's absolutely delicious. So Ashley is making us roast for dinner. She uh, has this Dutch oven. We bought this for her for Christmas, and I it's really it. nice. And we actually got it at Aldi. Uh, if you ever want nice, sturdy, really? um, oh, Aldi's the best, and they have the best prices. So this is like three pounds, almost exactly. So I'm just putting a heavy amount of salt and pepper. And I also put already, um, I don't worry, I do disinfect the counter and anything I touch with my meat hands, I will go ahead and disinfect with a Clorox after. So don't, don't think that I'm cross contaminating. Um, but I already put a little bit of olive oil and butter in the pan, in the pot, and we're going to turn it on. Okay, and we're gonna let that heat up and melt and do its thing. And while that is doing that, I'm gonna salt and pepper the sides, which I really don't have to do, but I have a minute while it melts, so I might as well. So she's gonna finish seasoning the roast, and then she's gonna put a pat of butter in the pan and just uh, let it melt. I'm gonna lay it flat in, and we're gonna let it sit for about six minutes. Okay, also you need to preheat your oven to 285, forgot to tell you that. Okay, it's been six minutes. We're gonna flip it. And we're gonna put it on for six more minutes. Um, also, I took a two yellow onions and put them in the chopper. They're very, very finely chopped and I'm just gonna set that to the side for now. It's been six more minutes. I want this other side to get a little bit more seared. So I'm gonna flip it. And let it sit for another couple minutes on this side, maybe two or three, and then I'm gonna cut back. All right, now I'm gonna take my onions, put them directly in here, and I also turn down the heat. It's just still very hot. And we're gonna cook these until they're soft. And then we're gonna add a couple spoonfuls of this minced garlic. I don't measure it, I literally just do what looks right. So just literally a couple of spoonfuls. All right, gonna add a couple spoonfuls, literally just, just whatever feels right. And I'm gonna stir that and until it becomes fragrant, just a couple minutes. Um, 
And then whenever it becomes fragrant, we will add in some liquid, add the roast, and put it in the oven. Next, we're gonna add two cups of beef broth. Right in the pan. I like your measuring cap. I've always had one that has red numbers, oh. but you can actually see that it's really nice. I think I got nice. it at Walmart or Target. And then I'm gonna do one cup of chicken broth. Turn the heat up just a little bit. We're gonna stir this around and then we're gonna plop the roast right on top of it. And so it's a very delicate process. We probably won't film that part, but we'll show you what it looks like in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna let it reach, not a boil, but I'm gonna let it start to bubble again. Once it starts to bubble, I'm gonna put the lid on and then put it in the oven at 285, and then in two hours, we're gonna leave it for two hours, and then in two hours, we'll come back and flip it. All right, it's been two hours. We are going to turn it over. We'll put the lid back. We put it back in the oven for another hour. All right, now it's gravy time. So, a little bit of flour in the bottom of this blender thing. You don't have to use a blender thing, you can use a shaker cup. We're gonna put the roast on the platter and we'll be right back. It is literally fork tender, fell apart in pieces, which is totally fine. We're gonna put this in the microwave, not on the microwave, just literally to keep it warm in that microwave box. And we are gonna add the juice to our flour. So I'm gonna screw the top of this blender cup on, and I don't know if you're supposed to use this for hot things. Um, I have used it to make gravy before, and I'm gonna use it again. Um, let me just flip it. Okay, so now that I have this made, I'm gonna dump it into this sauce pot, and I'm gonna put the rest of the juice in the sauce pot as well. Then you can serve this however you want. We are gonna serve it with mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese, which is being made right now. So we'll show you a full plate once it's all ready to go. So this is Ashley's baked macaroni and cheese. It looks absolutely wonderful. I had to show it to you because it looks so pretty. So Kevin's plate, obviously he likes mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, he got the, some of the roast and macaroni and cheese. This is my plate. I do not like mashed potatoes or gravy, so that is why you do not sit on my plate. We're going to Texas Roadhouse today. We haven't been in a while, so I'll show you what we get when we go in here. So when you go to Texas Roadhouse, they give you free rolls and butter. And so Kevin got a house salad with his meal, and so he's going to eat that. I didn't get a, a salad. Uh, I'm showing you the rolls because we got additional rolls. Um, Ashley got a New York strip steak. Uh, Kevin got a ribeye steak, and then I got a sirloin steak. I got green beans with mine and french fries, and uh, those are the french fries. Uh, the green beans were absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed them. Today we're going to a place called Don Senor. It's a Mexican bar. I've never been here before. It's been in Winchester for years and years, and this will be my first time eating here. So I just figured I would show you around the restaurant. It's very, very festive seating and the booths, and we like a booth. So anytime we go in a place like this, we ask if they have a booth available. Of course, we went, and you could tell it was not busy at all. Like we were the only ones in there. Uh, but it was a really nice meal, nice place to eat. What did you get? The Texas Special, Special Texas, something like that. Well, what did you get, Ashley? Pollo Bandito No Beans. And then I got the... Fajitas. Fajitas. Fajitas with no beans. So you get a plate with rice with and uh, yeah. lettuce and exactly. stuff. Yeah. And then you get lots of um, beef with... Uh, you got to choose between chicken or beef, and I chose beef with bell peppers and onions. Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are going to be having one of these Screaming to See and I'm Thin and Crispy Double Sausage Pizzas. And we reviewed it on the channel. We liked it. And so we've, we've had it several times since. But I wanted to show you this one specifically because look how small it is. Like this one should not have passed inspection because 
it should go, the, their pizzas always go out to the edge of the cardboard. It doesn't even go out to the edge of the cardboard. Like no. this is extra small. So we're back over at Ashley's and on this day we were having cheeseburgers and some uh, brats and Kevin is uh, dressing his cheeseburger and so I thought I would just film him while he does that. So there is his brat. We use just regular hot dog buns to, to uh, hold the brat and he's going to get a, uh, a cheeseburger patty which looks really good. This is a uh, pepper jack cheese, but he also had, I think, just regular like cheddar cheese. We like the Sargento brand, so we always get that. And then Kevin likes uh, some onion and uh, tomato, and then he's going to use um, some lettuce. He's not a, uh, he didn't put pickles. We got the pickle, the jar of pickles out, but he did not get pickles. I never put pickles on my cheeseburger either. I think pickles is something that's strong and it tends to, to take over. So I don't use pickle, but he loves mayonnaise, which I've had mayonnaise on cheeseburgers and it's good, uh, but I just don't use it. And then on his brat, he's going to use some mustard. We like just the yellow mustard and some ketchup. And uh, this is my plate. Looks pretty good. So then we're back at Don Senor again. I know we had never been there before, and now we're back again. Two meals in one. But it's basically the same stuff we had before, and now you're going to see it again. And then lastly, we are at Ashley's again, and we uh, had steak out on the grill. It was delicious. It was ribeye steak and corn on the cob. We had rolls. I didn't show the rolls, but we had rolls as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you at the end of next month.